Hello to you, fellow crafters. I hope things are well with you. Um, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you about something that's um, quite creative and is coming up from Couture Creations. And it's this little gizmo here. It's the Creative Detailer tool. And basically it's a battery powered eraser, which will help you clear up over foiling on your cut foil and emboss and results and also give you a way of working with things like pencil, watercolour and various other different mediums that will take a standard eraser. But listen, rather than me just sit here and waffle, let me show you more about it. At the tip of the Creative Detailer we have the eraser. This can be pulled out or pushed in so that we get maximum use from each tip that we use. The adapter can be removed and replaced with a fine tip adapter as well so that we can have even more detail from our tool. It's easy and quick to change between the two. Just pull the tip out and replace it with either a new eraser or a new eraser and adapter. The detail error is operated via the touch button on the shaft of the tool. Basically, as long as you've got it pressed, the motor will be in action. So you can have it running for as long or as short as you need to. At the other end, you have the battery compartment. So you just twist and it will pop out and you've got access to the battery compartment there. It takes two AAA batteries that are secured in place with that cap. Let's take a look at some uses for the Creative Detailer tool. The first and most obvious is for overfoiling. So if we've foiled something, sometimes little flecks of foil can be removed with uh, the cardstock. So to get rid of those, we just start the detailer running and lightly move it over the affected areas and it will remove all of those flakes for us leaving us with our original foiling. This works especially well in corners or at edges where overfoiling is quite common. You can see here again I'm just starting the motor running on the creative detailer and running it over the affected area. If you've done some creative foiling like a distressed look or a scrunch technique, you may still get some edges from the foil itself. So to make it a unified look and not have to waste or crop down that cardstock, simply start the creative detailer running and waft it over the areas that you want to get rid of and that will give you a more unified look and a more distressed look around those particular areas. If you've done a full fuse foil where you've got a nice smooth cardstock and a piece of foil, sometimes you may get some overfoiling on the edges and you'll want to get rid of that. So start the motor running and move your creative detailer over the affected area and that will then get rid of that excess foiling. You may have to go over some areas a couple of times as the glue can 
stay behind a little longer than the foil itself. But either way, with time and patience, you'll not waste a single piece of the foiled area that you've created and you'll have a nice clean border to work with. Did you know we can use the creative detailer on watercolour as well? So if we've created a splishy splashy background, any watercolour that's dried on the surface of the cardstock can be removed with the eraser. And the longer you erase an area, the more will, that will get removed. So I've already started a little fantasy mystic scene here and I'm just using a stencil to help me guide the eraser. But you can obviously work freehand if you want to. This though is getting rid of some of that surface watercolour. Some may have seeped into the cardstock, but that's fine. It's just going to give us a more uh, pastel version of the colour. We just continue to work though until we're happy with the result. And then we can keep on building in different areas to create uh, a fantasy background or even add detail to something that you can see within the pattern of the watercolour. Traditionally, we will have used erasers for pencil work, and this is no exception. We can use our creative detailer to erase line work, pencil shading, or other mediums that accept a standard eraser tip. So there we have just some ideas for using the Creative Detailer tool from Couture Creations and me, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And of course, for more news from me, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter, do subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and also hit the notifications button and then you'll be told about any new videos that I upload. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.